Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Impact, Learning Edition by KnowledgeWorks. The game plays three to five players, takes roughly 60 to 90 minutes to play, and is for ages 12 and up. And in this game, it's all about teaching children success in our growing economy, our social structures, and other important aspects of society. You're going to basically give kids the knowledge and the tools for success and help them learn a little bit as well. All of the cards are going to have citations and unique different perspectives and how it will impact and of course have secondary impacts on those specific societal, cultural, and learning uh, environments. In the game, you'll be playing as one of the many different characters and attempting to achieve their future goals. You'll have a secret character, that character will have a preferred future and requirement, and you'll be attempting to place them down based on the impact cards that you play. After everybody takes a turn placing impact cards down and, of course, doing whatever uh, it requires you to do, then you are going to have a bit of a judge type of a situation, kind of like uh, apples to apples, in which each player is going to give a headline based on the impact cards that were played. And then the judge will choose which player they like best and have them impact one of the many different options on the field. When a player is able to get enough cubes on any of the three different preferred future icons that their card possesses, they'll win the game game, and you'll continue playing until that happens. Pretty straightforward, let me go ahead and show you how it's played and how to set it up. To set up a game of impact, go ahead and place all of the learning domain tiles in a circle connected to each other with a space in the middle. Then simply take the impact learning edition cards, shuffle them and place them in the middle of that circle, along with knowledge cubes, shield tokens, and the timer. You can also go ahead and set aside standees, or of course the glass stand-ins for when you place your impact cards for the round. Each player is going to get a character, and that character is going to have a name and what they likely will be in the future, along with they'll draw three impact cards to start the game off. Set aside anything else, like the rule book and of course the quick guide if you need to reference it, and then, based on the length of the game, you'll put knowledge cubes on each of the domain tiles. For a quicker game, place four on, but you can reduce that for each of the areas if you want a longer game. After that, give the judge tile or token here to the player who most recently took an online class and begin the game. When beginning a game of impact, each player is going to have these three cards to utilize, and the player who most recently took their class is going to start, and so I will have this next to me. And of course, whenever you get one of these yellows, these are going to be instantly played and a change and affect the board in different ways. It's nothing that you can uh, prevent or shield, you'll simply do them, and then once you do them, you'll draw a new card into your hand. On your turn, it's very simple. You'll choose any of the three impact cards you have, play one so that all can see it, read it, and then do the first impact followed by the second one. The bottom of the card is going to be the source of the information utilized on the card. Most of the impacts are going to associate with colors and symbols on the board, and will tell you how many knowledge cubes to place on them. Sometimes you'll get unique ones that will have a dark purple skin, and that will tell you to either remove one from a location, put one on any location, or switch them from one location to another. Your objective is to understand the card, and usually will tell you something like explain a reason as to why you want to put something somewhere, or why, or how it might affect something. And of course, uh, after you do that, you'll place it down into one of the holders. Uh, that will show all players what card you placed, and where you place those cubes on the board. Uh, and of course, your character card is going to reference where you want your preferred future tokens to go, or knowledge tokens. Like, I want this heart, I want a leaf, and I want this speaker. And I want a certain amount of the cubes or tokens on them. So for instance, the heart, I'm going to want 10 as opposed to the 4 that it starts off with. So you're going to need to push them until you can get up to or equal to the number required on this card. And your objective is to fill out all of the requirements on your player card. After you've played one of your cards, then you can choose to discard any number of your cards that you would like, and draw back up to three cards. Oh, not these guys here. <laughs> three cards from the impact deck. After you've done that, the next player will take a turn. Play a card out, do anything that it says, add any cubes or remove them from the board, and then discard and draw and pass. Eventually, when playing the game, and for instance, if we were playing a three-player game, maybe I would add three of these cards here, you will have uh, three different impact cards on the field. And these three are going to form a headline. Uh, and our player is going to kind of make up a headline. The player who is the judge will be the one who judges whose headline is the best. And you can use this timer here if you'd like to give players a sense of urgency. If all of the impact cards had to do with health and school, then maybe you'd want a headline that says, school officials take health seriously. Or maybe if it has to do with like public works and sewer treatment, maybe it'd be something like, uh, 
the government requires more funding to enhance uh, resources, uh, recycling, and sewer renewal, something like that. The judge would then determine who had the best headline, and that player will take two cubes and place them anywhere on any domains that they would like, maybe one on one and one on another, or even two on the same one. After that, the judge tile will pass to the next player in clockwise order. Everybody's gonna have their three impact cards in their hand once again, and the game will continue until somebody gets the coveted amount of knowledge tiles on their preferred future icons. The moment that happens and you have the requirement, you win the game, drop it down, explain your character and what their goal was, and of course, always have fun and discuss the game while you're going through it. And even so, once the game is over, discuss what happened, why, and the benefits of the choices that you made. It's a pretty interesting, knowledgeable game. Impact Learning Edition is an educational board game. Now, it has two specific mechanisms. The first one is you're going to be drawing and playing impact cards and discussing them and explaining away certain reasoning for why you want to place knowledge cubes on certain areas. Now, of course, you always want to try and place knowledge cubes on the areas for your preferred future, and sometimes it might not work because when you're trying to explain something, it might make more sense maybe in health and well-being than something like science and technology. But you always have to kind of argue a reasoning as to why it might benefit your preferred future area as opposed to another, and that's part of the enjoyment of the game and the educational aspect. And in fact, all the cards kind of pertain to all of these different domains in one way or another, and if you think quite a bit, especially critically, you'll be able to decipher how and why it will affect that specific area, thus benefiting yourself and maybe other players. There are different cards in the game, I believe there's like 10 or 8 or so, and uh, these are all going to have a unique preferred future. They sometimes cross over and intertwine with each other, but in the end each player has their own unique requirement, and once they reach that goal or maximize over it, they win the game. Another thing too is the judge aspect of the game. In the judging portion of the game, it's all about trying to create the best headline and convince the judge that your headline makes the most sense based on the impact cards that were played. These impact cards all correlate with each other in some way, shape, or form in the, in, in the value of education and those domains, and basically creating that fun headline, much like apples to apples would create you to kind of place a card down, you have to kind of make up that headline in on the spot using critical thinking skills and involving the domains of your choice, or maybe a domain that you just think works best because you're more interested in the educational aspect of the game. But either way, you have that ability to socialize with people and kind of tell a story while playing a game. That being said, the two portions of the game combine nicely, playing down cards, fitting your future, and then of course creating headlines, all of which have a really nice additive of the cards, including sources of where you find that information. Whether or not you agree with the sources is another interesting aspect of the game because you can take the time, whether after or even during the game, to look them up and read them and discuss with each other, which I think is also important for critical thinking, and of course how it pertains to the card and how they came to the findings. Utilizing that is really nice and also extremely extremely educational. A game like this is going to fit really well in a classroom, it's going to fit really well for homeschoolers or for parents, and also I can see this being done at conventions and other learning centers. Uh, we have had, I've been to many math uh, conventions as well and have different math learning style games, and there's a lot of educational conventions I can see this working with, but specifically really nice in a school type setting or a homeschool type setting when you have multiple kids that can learn. Overall, this game is a fun game. I enjoy it. I like the discussion that we added to it. We played this on our live stream and discussed each of the different cards, why we played them, or how they fit or benefit with one or another, and in which domain that the specific requirements of the card or the benefits and negatives kind of affected the different areas and supported different theories. I always like a game that involves social aspects, social learning, different cues as to how things work with each other and how they don't, and this one does a great job of that, creating a fun, safe environment while still having a little bit of an argumentative aspect to it, where you can kind of debate how each of the different cards represent different domains and how they do not. The cards and uh, the, basically the coloration of the game represents kind of a, a more educational looking game. This is not something that you're going to see as a modern game, it's going to be more of like an educational modern board game. It reminds me kind of of like my wife's nonprofit as to the color scheme and style of the game, but it's very easy to distinguish the cards, how they function, all the different domains, or who's ahead and who's kind of behind based on how you're placing, and still provides a good chunk of strategy as to attempting to complete and conquer the different domains that you acquire in order to push your future ahead. All the different characters are diverse and have unique uh, uh, skills and backgrounds and a unique future goals as well, which is definitely a plus. And all the components are high quality. They're very nice. All the cubes work well. The timer works excellent. All the shield tokens are fun as well, which basically involves sometimes you can place these guys down. <laughs> 
on different locations and domains and prevent players from messing with the specific locations to kind of benefit your overall goal and strategy. If you're looking for an educational game, game that involves social domains, this is one I strongly suggest you at least take a look at. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Impact Learning Edition. If you're interested in the game, there's a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and pick up the game down below. It's on a nonprofit and they are education based. And if you're looking for something for yourself, your family, your friends, or even your kids or students, then this is one I highly suggest you give a look. Additionally, you can go ahead and check out my website on filteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. We have a live stream every Sunday, 6 30 p.m. PST, where we play games just like this one. And in fact, we did play this one. So if you want a more thorough understanding of what the game is about, what the cards are involving, you can see a decent little chunk of the game. But as you can see, there's a lot of cards. There's a ton of replayability in the game and what the game has to offer. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to learning with you guys next time.